But this Valent Boy service, serviced it a few years, so it's got my old magnet on it. These are new ones with the new logo. So it's gonna have strip service, this one. And replace the gas pipe, because that is starting to rust in there. New G10 seal. See that gas pipe's corroded. There's two different types. You'll see a little D, D type shape thing. Gotta find the one that fits. I think it's that one. Just a flat one. Oh no, it's not. It has the bracket underneath. Just rusted. Hopefully, I can get that out. So. Let's start with that pipe, then we'll move on to a heat exchanger. Also, here's some of the tools I'll be using for this service. This ratchet's really handy. 10, 12, 8, and 14. It's a nice Utoku one from Supreme Hand Tools. Check him out on Instagram, he's got the best stuff. They're my two favorite guys, 8-Bit Ghost and Supreme Hand Tools on Insta, they have everything you need, everything you could want. Let's get this light set up. So first things first on this, we'll isolate the gas. Disconnect the nut. We've got to get this screw out there. Another Supreme Hand Tools. Again, this is like a sponsorship video for him. Handy little ratchet. That's quite tight in there where it's all rusted. So I don't know that I'll be able to do this and film it. Let's see. Easy as that. He says, had to jiggle them wires around a bit, but now they're all out of the way. Should just maneuver out. Like that. So, as you can see, quite badly corroded. There was a leak, I think, on the diverter valve. And it just sat in there for ages. So, yeah. Check the type we want. That type with the bracket. So we've got that out, as you can see. Same one, like for like. That tricky bit, just trying to get that back in. Annoyingly as well, you get no nut and olive in the pack. So I use the old nut, but I need to go back to the van to get another olive. It should go in easier because I'm not trying to get the nut out. always carrying caps in your tool bag 
much always got one on hand. So obviously I'm tying this knot under here. Might as well change this while we're here too. Gas is done, so let's get onto the heat exchanger. But being sensible, knowing this is the same job, I would have left this all loose and then disconnected this all together. But oh well, just a tin mill straight onto these. A little look see in here not too bad at all seal needs changing i mean one because we've opened it but two you can see it needs changing looks like there's been a bit of leakage there Exchange is all clear. Now let's get to changing this seal. Try and clean off as much of the old seal as possible so that the new seal sits nice and flush. in them we wash this some grease and it's for the electrodes as well so on these it's important that, that the ridge side down into here and the angled side up so you want it like that ridge side down Careful not to trap this wire. Sometimes I've seen it before, people have trapped this in there. Bendy bits up when you put it back in. Sometimes you'll have a nut left over in that bag because the old ones used to have five and it's the same kit they used, so don't worry thinking that you've missed something. So let's start doing some testing. Have to, have to, have to. Take my torch down now. Well, I can get that. This last time I shut the boiler off. 
and left it in there and had to take everything back open again. A little tip to get the old version of the Valent Ecotech Pluses Pros, the R1 versions into service mode. You hold the reset and the plus, let go of the reset, you'll get the two flashing dots. And that can cycle you through your P codes, P1 maximum, P2 minimum, and just press your I button on whichever one you want. And then reset and you have to start the process again. But yeah. Service mode. I don't know what I don't know. Obviously, readings are going to be a little bit higher because, like the old days, I've disturbed everything. Burning off all the dust and the muck. Yeah, we're looking good. Just got to tightness test it and get out of here. And at the end of our two minutes. Well, three minutes because of stabilization, we are still all good. It's always nice to start the week up with a Monday morning service. Gone eco fit. Pure here. I like these boilers nice and small, covered fit. This is the pure 830. Nice and easy to work on. Everything's accessible. I also like that they've changed where the condom strap is on these. So just pull out from the front. And unlike the older versions, the Ecotech Pros and Pluses, that was at the back. So there was always a pipe going underneath it. These are nice and easy to clean. Put this into service mode, so we go to from the beginning. Press the two eye buttons and then top right to take you into the settings. Go up to code 17. Tick. Press the top right again till we get to P. Plus P1 is max, P2 is minimum. And P6 opens up the diverter valve which is the best way to stop the pressure up. Just putting on my new face saver. These are brilliant. You should get some of these from 8-Bit Ghost. We are in P2 which is the minimum test point. Sorry for the rustling. Let that stabilize. Zero in. And we can pop our probe in. See what we're getting. See that just sits there now. 
with the face saver not coming out at all. Save that reading and then we will back out and drop into P1, which is the maximum. A low gas pressure there, so we'll check that against the meter as well. Save this. Testing with how good that seal is. So with the appliance running on maximum, we're losing about just under three millibar across the installation. We had 15 point something, 18.2, let's see what we had. 15.15, so give or take three millibar. What you can see here is originally I tested from the gas valve, but now when you test under the boiler at the isolation, I've gained millibar, 1.5 millibar. So the drop is actually only two millibars. So within that, you lose all of this. So I'm going to show some stuff about working pressures now as well. 